question, how many different engines are featured in our hybrid lineup and what are they? So for instance, in the CT200, we have that 1.8 liter motor from the Prius, right? So what other engines do we have and what vehicles do we find? The 3.5 the RX. And what else? The 3.5 liter is in the RX and the GS. GS, absolutely right. 4.5 is in the RX. The HS250 has a 2.4 liter engine, but you were very, very close, so I'll give it to you. And then what did you say back there? 4.5 in the RX. Okay, so we've got our 5 liter V8 in the LS600, right? We've got our 3.5 liter V6 in the GS450H and the RX450H, the 2.4 liter engine in the HS250, and of course that 1.8 liter motor we find in the CT200. So we've got five assignments There you have it. Question two, how many different drivetrains are featured and on which models? So the CT200 is front wheel drive. What other kinds of drivetrains do we have and what vehicles do we find? The RX. Absolutely right. All wheel drive and front wheel drive on the RX450H. So then what does that leave? LS600 has rear wheel drive? It is all wheel drive. All right, there you go. You say, save yourself there. All right, so rear wheel drive we find on what vehicle? GS. GS, absolutely right. Okay. So we cover the whole gamut, all wheel drive, front wheel drive, and rear wheel drive. Question three, what are the four principal benefits that Lexus Hybrids offer to customers? Or why would I want to buy one? Efficiency, fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency, power. okay. Power. Power, what else? Someone else, what'd you say? Affordability, Affordability. great value, what'd you say? Less emissions. Less emissions, okay. So we've got value, eco-conscious, better fuel efficiency. Sorry, Howard, I apologize, you're keeping me honest, okay. Did anyone say performance? I said power. Performance. You did, you did, and I gave you a buck. So, all right, so we've got superb performance. All right, you know what? All right. Just wish I would have had you better heard the other half. Okay. All right, all right. All right, so we've got superb performance. You didn't say superb, you just said performance. I did. So, uh, reduced emissions, okay, and improved fuel economy. Obviously, fuel economy is one of the biggest reasons, if not the biggest, to buy a hatchback, okay, arguably. Uh, we get 43 miles per gallon in the city with the CT200, 40 miles per gallon on the highway, and 42 combined. So very, very good numbers. Uh, but you might be surprised to know that we have that great performance and low noise vibration and harshness. We've got a terrifically rigid unibody construction on this vehicle, which is great for safety and it's great for handling. But we also get a little bit of added vibration that comes through the vehicle because it's so rigid. So to counteract that, we put in what we call the high performance damper at the front and the back to reduce vibration. So we get good handling and good ride quality and good uh, reduced noise vibration and harshness. Okay. Okay. Question four. In spite of the added weight of the RX450H all wheel drive system, it actually posts a better zero to 60 time than the front wheel drive version, right? So the all wheel drive version is heavier, but it goes faster. Anyone tell me why? Start time. Your, uh, your all-wheel drive that has a learning capability will, and you're starting off with the power to the back wheels as well. Okay, so it can transfer power to the yes. back. All right, so that's good. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, though. Wait, so, you're almost there. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. Weight distribution. Weight distribution? Okay. My initials on this one. All right, let me help you along. How many electric motors are there in the front-wheel drive version? Four one. Two. Three. Okay, there's one electric motor in the front wheel drive version that drives yeah. the front wheels. There's a second electric motor that recharges the battery. In the all wheel drive version, there is one electric motor that runs the front wheels, <laughs> one that runs the rear wheels, and then one that recharges the battery. So since we have extra weight because of the extra motor, we also have added power, which is why we can go faster. There's more horsepower in the all wheel drive version than the front wheel drive version, which is why we go faster. 